The next button we have over is the T kick plays kick or punt button. In order to use this button, we're going to need to have a kicker on the field. The way we achieve this is to double click your quarterback and then select your kicker or your punter. Once he's been selected, you can now apply a kick instruction to him by clicking the T kick plays kick punt button. Depending on the type of kick that you have, will bring up a certain icon to indicate that. The place kick will have this triple chevron emblem. Typically the place kick is going to be used with a route. The next kick type that you have is the punt and you can now give the target location for where you want the punt to go. The next kick you have is the T kick and again with this you can target where you want the kick to go. I'll quickly show you how to set up each of these types of kicks right now. The first kick that we'll take a look at is going to be the place kick. This is going to be the kick that you're going to typically use for your field goals and extra points. You can bring in another player near to where you want the T kick to take place or rather the place kick to take place but just enough room to allow kicker some space to hit the ball. You will take your center and you will hike the ball to the place kick holder. The kicker you will typically give him a route to have him go to the location to where the place kick holder is going to hold the ball and then you will give him his place kick instruction. We can check this out in the practice field to see how it works. We can see that this place kick holder does not look like he's place kick holding. We simply should try to move him closer until he looks like he's going to place kick hold. This will indicate that you have the correct relationship with regards to the space and the instruction. This is critical to have this work or it will not kick the ball. He will simply run with the ball once it's hiked. When we test the play, we can see that everything lines up and a kick takes place. Moving on, we will take a look at the T kick. We will have the center hike the ball directly to the kicker. The kicker will have a punt, for example, and we'll set the target here. When he hikes the ball, he will punt the ball to the target. Finally, we have the T kick. This would be one of the examples in which you would move your center. Using Control and Alt, I will click drag my center out of the way. And then using Control, click, I will drag these other guys out of the way. I'm just moving these guys randomly out of the way just for the demonstration of the instruction. I would give him a route to the approximate area where the ball will be and then I will assign him the T kick instruction and the area to which I would want the kick to go. When we run the play, we can see that he kicks the ball to that location. 